good everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, also known as Hair Mocha Lover, but thank you for rejoining me here in the Thousand Week Like mod for Hearts of Iron 4, in which we're playing as the Grand Protectors of Germany. That's what we're going to call them, the Grand Protectors. But as you can see on screen, the Civil War is almost completely over. We've we've gotten rid of a lot of Germans, let's be realistic here. We just got, we're finished off with what was, almost, with what was known as Austria. A few divisions left over there, and East Prussia will be ours, as you can see, extraordinarily soon. Like... It's unfortunate that we had to go through the Civil War um, to do it like this, but I'll be honest, this is my save from when I did Gotenland, at, you know, when I played SS Gotenland. Um, this, uh, this is the same save, so that's why we had the Civil War here. I'm like, eh, I just start off from the Civil War, right? We could do it like that, right? Well, maybe next time. Because I do plan on playing uh, our nation at least twice, just because I want an actual full run of Mr. Heinrich. So, oh, hell, yeah, Heinrich. So we'll see, but overall, like, <laughs> it's been a brutal Civil War. Holy crap. Also, we do have 176 political power, which is really nice. Um, ooh, military access to Poland. No, we don't need it. We don't need it. We got more than enough support equipment for now. And very good. Got some comms to go through as well. And let's see. 1.2 million have died. Oh, look, they were doing the same thing. All they have left is mostly just motorized and support equipment, and a few guns. But my friends, I apologize for being a little raging last episode. It's just. It is what it is. Sometimes civil wars can just drag on and on and on. But my friends, it's time for us to take a stand. Victory in the German in the Civil War. Of course, the German Civil War, but regardless. All right, and the double S victory. The Civil War is over. After a constant struggle for power, thousands of Germans lost their lives to the grand battles. I'd say more like millions. While the fightings have stopped, there's no doubt that Germany must focus on recovering from her scars in the upcoming years. Those German lives died for the double S's cause, and they must be avenged with progression and a better future for their descendants. Currently, the double S forces are busy disarming the government and yeah, remnants, while the military police is busy with securing high-ranking officials of the different factions. Restoring order within Germany is going to be a complicated task, but it must be done to preserve the Reich's future. Peace at last. Monthly population goes up. Recruitable population factor goes way down, which is fine because we have 12 and a half million. That will be known as the GGR. Need of unrest. Oh, that sucks. Peace at last, my friends. End of the German Civil War. And we're back. Sort of. Yeah, sort of. Oh, wow, we lost a lot of political power. We have no war support. We have no stability. <sighs> but it's okay. We have Reinhardt here. So it's okay. But at what cost? Him uh, <coughs> excuse me, Himmler was a great man. The Reich will be worse off without his guidance, but we must persevere. The fate of the Aryan civilization rests on our shoulders. He lit the fire, now we must carry it forward into the din or dim and murky dawn. Now, so there was one comment saying that why didn't why did I do the Civil War? I should have just chosen Himmler as their successor or successor. Which oh we have the Chief States. I do want to try this guy out as well eventually, but we'll see what happens. I so I just have I just have, you know, a thing for... If you follow my channel, I have a thing for the Blonde Beast, because he's just so efficient. The only person in the, in the SS who can match Himmler's vision is Reinhard Heydrich, governor of Gotham. He can be trusted to do what needs to be done to preserve Aryan civilization. The Blonde Beast stays. Ah, security first. We are living in dangerous times. Bolshevik plots and Zionist mental uh, derangement looks around every corner. Heydrich's work in establishing the Reich's secret police force means that the importance of security isn't lost on him. We have to protect the Aryan race from harm. Absolutely. And after this one... Oh, we can reform the faction. What is this one? Uh, Socialist Republic of Serbia is gone. Okay, well, that's nice. With the Civil War over, it's now time for Germany to reclaim her hegemony. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I do want to get out of civilian economy because it's just hurting us too much. we got to go early mobilization, partial mobilization, because we need to build. Oh, look, we actually have a civvy. Well, thanks for showing up, you stupid civvy. I wanted one of those during the Civil War so we could actually trade for stuff. But no, we couldn't do that. Anyway, there's enemies from within. The Reich's most insidious foes are those who haven't made yet their presence known. They work from within, hollowing our country out like termites. But it does not matter. We will find them. The rays of the black sun shine on all men sooner or later. And we're going to get 0.81, which is actually pretty good. We still have Oswald Pole, which still kind of hurts us, but honestly, I'd rather have them than not have them. So, a couple comments. Someone says, uh, oh yeah, so uh, quite a few, a few of you guys did tell me how to consolidate our units... Which, you know, for as long as I played Hoi 4, I did not remember how to do it. So, pretty much right here. Merge units and damage units. My bad. I don't want to merge these two because these guys are actually doing relatively okay. So, I don't want to merge them right now, but my fault. I just... Why do we... Oh, we got rid of some of the other divisions, maybe? Um, Maybe we did. Can we combine you two? How about you and then you? No. Yeah, maybe not. 
And you're literally by yourself. Can we actually convert you guys? That kind of sucks that we can't. Oh, the Gestapo Militar Abteilung. Eight. Oh, God, this is so bad. Ah, oh, security fossil. Very good. Enemies from within. Well, horses are nice. Just get some infantry for now. It's fine. How bad are we looking here, actually? Oh, it's pretty bad. But it could be a lot worse. Do we have resistance anywhere? No? Good. So I'm not sure why we have this. Uh, restarting, the, restarting the army is not bad. Native unrest. I'm not sure we have that since... I mean, it makes sense why we have it, but it doesn't really affect us, which is fine with me, but still. Uh, we actually might grab... Not Mueller, not yet. Um, people give us more political power. Heinrich Himmler is still here for some reason. Oh, no, he, he was only re forced to retire, right? That's, that's the only thing he had to do. He was forced to retire. He's totally not dead in a ditch right now. Totally not dead in a ditch. Uh, 55, 56. Uh, anything there? Not really. Not too much. I don't really care about naval stuff. We don't even really have a navy. We get some anti-air. We can do that. Yeah. yeah grab some mountaineers because he can. But after for enemies with him, integrate Gotenland. Got to show loyalty. Oh, oh, I want to annex them. Oh, but we get Adolf Eichmann. Oh, I love Adolf Eichmann. Oh, oh. Uh. I don't know, it feels like we should have gotten them with us. After the disorder in the arcades, it might be in our best interest to place more of our colonial holdings under direct rule from Germania. Seeing as Gotenland is heavily Germanized, it shall be incorporated into the Reich as a core territory. Ah, <sighs> yes. Yes. Oh, that is 200. Jesus Christ, that's so much. It's insane. Need of unrest, counting our losses. Yeah, that, that's really... Holy crap, that's so bad. Overgrown Ossacore, which is bad too, but... Hans Bauer. Not bad. Oh, I just wish we had a navy. On the ships we can make, they're pretty god awful, I'll be honest. Um, you know, just make one of those guys. I literally just want a single ship right now. Just so we can get some naval XP. We'll probably never really use it, but a welcome to Unity. Germany is corrupt. Germany was once so pure, but it is being manipulated by the forces who do not wish well on anybody. For the protection of everyone, these forces must be eliminated. The old regime eliminated the Jews and other parasites, but by doing so, they have shown the Jews how we think, how we attack, and how we scared we are of the world they are pushing us towards. They are not gone, just transformed. They're destroying Germany through other means, through their many puppets. The old guard has been pushed in the senility into the Jews' grasp. The, as they call themselves, moderates have done nothing but catalyze the decline of our nation. The reformers are Jewish worshippers. It is astonishing how many members of the Reich were, as have we discovered, attempting to create a new Zion out of our humble nation. Herr Heydrich himself has seen to it that these elements are not only thrown off of Germany's back, but also completely annihilated. Heydrich himself has seen to it that... Not only will these men never be remembered, they will never have been. Reinhard Heydrich will forever be remembered as our savior. Reinhard Heydrich is our savior. Germany is perfect. Aryans are perfect people. Incorruptible. No Aryan would ever betray the Reich. No Aryan has ever betrayed the Reich. The Aryan people are bounded to a grand brotherhood. This brotherhood is unbreakable. No matter how many times they may attempt to penetrate it, we will never not be obedient to Germany. My honor is my loyalty. Protector of Aryans. Ooh. Reunite the Rex Commissariats. The SS economy would be good to do as well, as well as introduce the SS Kampfgruppe. Ooh, I like this. Oh, this is all just the military side. Ooh, we get more population. I love that. Um, we definitely need more factories, but SS is slave economy. I like that a lot. But, oh, I want to get at least the decision to do the uh, Rex Commissariats. As Hitler's rightful successor, the Fuhrer is responsible for the safety and well being of all the Reich citizens. How he can most efficiently go about this is a question worthy of considerable debate. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's someone else who gave us more political power. Nolan elected as president. Well, I'm not sure who that is, but I don't really care. Oh, this guy gives us plus 0.15. You know what? That's going to reduce a lot of political power, but we're going to need it for everything else we do. So even at Hans Lammers, he did not become our leader, but it doesn't mean we still can't use him. And honestly, I can't even get rid of these guys. I want to get rid of these guys. I don't like that you can't get rid of guys. Um, for you all, you guys actually did pretty darn well. We have so much army XP, we really need to convert these divisions because the SS divisions are just not great. Like, there's really no point to use SS divisions. I mean, role-playing wise, yes, but for right now, no. Just because, oh, that's way too ahead of time. Uh, they just cost more and they don't have that much more benefit. They really don't, I don't know why. Uh, it makes sense why, to a degree, but still. Uh, Panzer divisions, SS infantry. SS motorized. Oh, we just go over normal motorized. You actually get more stats. You lose a little bit of HP, and it's cheaper to make, so I don't see the reason why we're doing it like this. SS APCs. Just use normal APC. Look, it's just better overall. We have enough army XP that we might as well do this too. APC, APC. We we are literally saving at least infantry equipment for this. Sure, we're going to need way more APCs, but I don't really care. 
Assets infantry is nice, but even for infantry, like... Look at that. It's just better. It's just better. And we're going to use SS. To, uh, they're all going to have to be APCs. You make them 20 combat with. That's going to ruin what we have, but I don't really care. And since we're here... Um, logistics, what's supply? Supply's not great. I would love signals, but supply's probably will be a little better for fuel and such. It just hurt our armor a little bit more. Um, it's gonna hurt our armor regardless. And I'll do that anyway, screw it, we'll do it. There you go. So then we're gonna use a lot more infantry, normal infantry divisions. These guys are only 18 combat with. Make them 20 with normal infantry. Oh, are you guys. Yeah, you're just normal guys, which is fun with us. Go with... How much anti-air do we have? Are we making any... Yeah, we will be. Uh, since we don't have any, there you go. Hmm. That says Panzer Divisions. Yeah, just go with the normal APCs, man. Now, I don't mind having motorized artillery, but we don't really need them. SPR light artillery? Just... I, I see... I know why they, some people use them, but... Honestly, I've never really found a need to use them too much. Maybe we should use them sometime, though. Hmm, maybe battle tanks. Two, three, four, five, right? Yeah. Go APCs, not the SS version. I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. It just, this has to be done. Ah. Ah, oh, Gotland integrated. Very nice. With Reinhold Heydrich leading Germany, his personal fiefdom of Gotland shall now be fully integrated, demonstrating that Gotland has been fully transformed into a pure German region. Gotland's role shall now be Germany's main port city on the Black Sea, no longer a disconnected colony separated from the German fatherland. I'll go uh, maintenance and go signals. Uh, actually, supply. Oh, supply's pretty bad. Oh, God, supply's so bad. We gotta do that one. Uh, Marines wouldn't be bad. Yeah, no. I don't even want to see this. Ooh, Einsatz grouping. They did nothing wrong in real life, right? Alright, anyways. Questionable debate. Brutal efficiency, the Einsatzgruppen. Oh, yeah? Counting your losses, good. Let's go ahead and do the SS economy. Oh, there's no description here. A double 50% bonus for industry. Not bad. Ah, thank you. So you're the gods of Landish. Ah, uh, oh, I remember these divisions, yeah. Go and convert yourselves to... Basically, this is basically motorized, so that's fine. I'll throw you all right there. Um. Oh, you're actually... No, you're the wrong type. Is that the one? There we go. That's the one we want. Um, honestly, because we got to get rid of a lot of these types of templates. If you know my, me at all, and you follow this channel at all, you know I don't like having different types of templates. Like, I like having very few different types of templates at all times. Just because it makes... It's so much easier to read. You're exactly the same, and you're going to all convert to infantry. There you go. This should be a little better. Uh, Hartman, Fagelein, Fagelein. Oh God, that show was so good. But anyways, um, yeah, we're we're gonna be missing a lot of stuff. Actually, not that much. Well, nine thousand APCs. What else is new? More enough motorized support equipment. Um, how much post-war artillery do we ha need or have? Oh, well, we actually have a surplus, a slight surplus right now. It's not much. That's actually not too bad. I'd love to kickstart biochemical research, which would be very good for us. But, you know, whatever. But yeah, this one's definitely next. Protective Aryans. Ah, and we do some coffee to keep us nice and warm. But at least we can confidently say, Germany is on the right track to do and accomplish its destiny. So after this one, SS... Oh, we got a research slot. Oh, 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 I want to do that one. I want to do that one. Yes, please. Another research slot is just too good to pass up immediately. Ooh, more fuel. I like that. Unpaid labor. Ooh. But you stop those supervisions. Get a research loss. So, how can we take out other enemies? Restore order. Ooh, the French commune. Are they in the... Ooh. How strong are they? Two million manpower. Oh, boy. Oh. If you guys wanted a little bit more fun times. Oh, we're going to bring those fun times over. Well, we have only four divisions here, which is not great, but... That's okay. Because you four are 20 combat with, which is... And you're just missing just so many tanks. American spy plane detected. Our radar has detected a U.S. reconnaissance aircraft violating our airspace. While this clear violation warrants a response with the civil war ongoing, escalation with the Western powers may not be advantageous. What should we do? We can attempt to shoot it down. You're f Restoration of Serbian democracy. That's actually really cool. I like this image here. That's really cool. Serbian democracy. Serbia. There's Croatia here. Tomislav. And then... 
Chetnik movement. Oh, and I still need to play this some time. Early helicopters. Well, you might as well. Well, I guess not. Huh. Planes. Large-scale jet engines. Might as well. Flammenwerfer. Grab some motorized rocket artillery. Um, so, if these guys are not doing too much, I want to have fun in France. Oh, it costs so much political power, though. Oh. Oh, is it worth it? Oh, we're going to lose political power. Uh, how much do we get every day? We get 1.19. You know what? Screw it. What we're going to do first is get to early mobilization. Because we need more cities. Because we literally have none right now. We're going to do that first. Then go to France. Then Bohemia. Then the Netherlands. Which is kind of weird for this campaign. Because usually we see, like... The Dutch usually stay out. But sometimes the the Danish want to attack us. Then we get the Benelux. The rest of the Benelux who want to attack us. But they never popped out. Obviously the Swiss did this time. And so did Prague. But... Whatever. All right, SS economy, and then uh, shoot off supervisions. Very good. G series, yes. Artillery. Oh, let's get some artillery attack. If we are, if we say we are Germans and we don't research chemical warfare, are we really German or Aryans? Of course not. IVs. I don't like using using IVs. I don't think they're very good. They're just okay. All right, so you're gonna need a lot of this here. We're gonna need more tungsten as well. Actually, for this. Ah, finally. Can we actually have some civvies? Nope. Okay, then. God dang it, you pieces of garbage. Negative six. Well, we should have just went to war. Um, if that's the case, Bohemia. Well, you know, we're going to come up here first. Using just these guys, we should do relatively okay, right? Right. We need so much of that. We still need more guns and empty tank. That really sucks. But hey, with 1.19 every day, it's not bad. And we have 4% stability. Could be a lot worse. Wow, minus 45% factory output is so bad. Oh, wait, what? Are we just annex them? Okay. I can I can get on board with that. Why not? Well, since you're here anyways, train. So, so we, oh, they're a core state. We just got free cores. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that is so nice. So, yeah, we're just going to build a whole lot here. Like, just build, build, build. We have so much of Germany to repair. Ah, oh, Civil Wars are so devastating. Oh, we actually have 10 out of 10 infrastructure in Franche Comte. Surprising, but okay. Ah, uh, the Swiss. They just wanted to rise up. They just wanted to rise up and be... Uh, Untermensch. That clearly shows you that they're still not ready to be Ubermensch. Still not fully Germanized, but... Supervisions followed up with the slave economy. Yes! Oh, yes, please. Some might be wonder, might be a little uh, apprehensive to follow me if I get so excited about having slave economies. But there's so much fun, so much fun. Actually, do we make a ship yet? I hope we did. Uh, infantry, just go right there. That's fine. Uh, Josias, yeah, you, I don't know what happened to you in TNO, but my God, your face just got dis horribly disfigured in TNO. Just oh my goodness, not bad. Still trying to repair some roads after the slave economy. Uh, factory Poland, acquire workforce. Eh, all for the bomb. Shoot stuff credits. Oh, wow, we lose a lot of political power, though. Uh, traditional economy, total mobilization. Oh, okay. We can go straight there. Oh. Huh. So you can choose this one as long as Heinrich Himmler is not leading. Aryans must produce. Interesting. Oh, starting the old industry. Look at this. Immediate subjugation and stuff. Ooh. Invade Norway. Oh, we need... Hmm. Well, I want to deal with our western border first. So we'll do that one. Undermine the Reichsmark. National SS credits. Encourage industrialists. So this one you can do with Himmler. So I think I want to save this path for Himmler. Then again, we'll have to play as Hans Lammer sometime. But I'm not really sure how I want to go about doing that. But Factory Poland... Well, they get stuff. I don't want to give them stuff just yet. Uh, unpaid labor. Why not? All right, my friends. It's time. It's time to expand and grow and get bigger and stronger. The Aryan way. Can we go to war with them? Oh, is that it? Oh, man. Hold on. Did I read that correctly? Can we not go to war with them? Oh, no, I guess I didn't read that very correctly. Quickly, Funding the Re Hungarian rebels. Okay, oh, we have this one. Okay, we just have to wait like a month. That's fine with us. That's totally fine. Because then we'll go to Bohemia next. And we'll just core the stuff, so. 
And that'll be quite bueno for us. Unpaid labor, followed up with what? Because we do have expanding the RSHA. Ministry of Speak. Loyalty points. Little Black Book, Josias' coup? Wait, oh, oh, okay. <coughs> Josias. Denounce him. Revert his actions. Oh, right now to hate your... Oh, okay, that's weird. The Einsatzgruppen. I like brutal efficiency. You do get some more stability in war sport. That's pretty good to get. Himmler laughed for far too much excess and frivolity or frivolity. The new Führer will not make the same mistakes. Yes, yes, and by extension, the entire Reich will be a well oiled machine from here on out. What must be? It has to be. And as DAP, the status quo, the shoots off a bias. It's a conservative uh, SS leader. Ah, uh, bring those French dudes down. I like the playground too. Um, I want to go with next with expanding the SSWVHA. Let's do introduce SS Kampfgruppe. Just so we can get some uh, more war support. And I do want to get some land auction for us. And get some more of these ben benefits and boosts. Which would, I think would be very nice. Alright, so. Oh, it's a glitch. We can't see how many casualties we've taken. God dang it. <sighs> so good. Oh, they even have some of their own tank divisions. But they are, they fail in comparison to the Reich's armor. Heinz Hamel. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely. <sighs> Beautiful. Go on in, boys. There's no one to stop you. Not a single soul. Marseille shall be ours. As it should be. Construct a chemical factory. I'd love to do that, but we don't really need to do that right now. Um, anything else here? Yeah, do that one, because you can. Oh, we actually do have some ships. Look at that. I didn't realize we had ships. My bad. Train them. Otto Steinbrink. Rosenbaum. Torpedo hit chance. That's not bad, actually. Who's the most attack? Yeah, Rosenbaum, you're going to learn. Ah, uh, France has never looked better. Ah, oh, thank you, French Commune. Now, do we, do we get a... Uh, we can integrate these guys, but... Occupation of France, okay. The dust has settled, and the majority of the hostile forces in France have been disarmed. And the flag of the GGR is flying proudly in the towns of France. With France finally pacified by German might, the future of France will now be decided by Germans. While thousands of Germans are now celebrating this great triumph, groups of ministers have gathered in Vichy, the provisional capital of occupied France, drafting a solution to the French nation. While dozens of other plans have surfaced, there are two prominent plans to settle the French question. While one is advocating for a united France, the other group seeks to utilize Breton nationalists as a means to divide and administrate the French nation. I mean, unified. Divide and conquer. I want to do direct occupation. Oh, God. Uh, what do I want to do? Okay, so remind me. This is what we're going to do. Whenever I play as Heinrich Himmler, Thousand Week Reich, and he's a successor, we can avoid the Germans of War and stuff like that, remind me, we will do direct occupation. For now, I think it's best if we let us separate these two. Now, this is going to cause slightly more lag, which is something I don't like to do. But, and we're going to do the new economy next. But we're going to do this one just so that because I want to have the French and the Britons our Bretons always at each other's throat, angry at each other, and wanting to kill each other. That's the way they don't want to kill us as much if they're divided. At least that's my reasoning here. Um, also, yeah, the legal corruptions. Apparent corruption. Well, we can't do that one, so labor crackdown, so we'll probably have to go with this one next. Uh, legal corruptions, which will be fine, so get more political power as well. Nivan Henaf. Very cool. We're getting the gang back together, everybody. And Ludwig Ruck Deschel. Very nice. Loyal allies guarding our western flank. For now, we must deal with those dastardly poles. Who dare think they can escape our wrath? I get too excited playing this sometimes, I swear to God. Ah. Question of the French administration. The occupation authority of France has managed to stabilize German leadership in France. While the local collaborators are calling for a second French regime, some factions with the NSDAP are calling for a Reichskommissariat style government to be installed within France. A French collaborator? Mm. We're doing this for Lebensraum. 
Um, that's important French collaborator. Maintain the transitional government. This seems like a Hans Lehmer type of thing, because he sounds, he sounds like, I could be wrong about this, he sounds like a more of a conservative guy. The board of question, though. The boundaries of the French administration must be determined by the Germanic government. While we can restore the old Vichy regime boundaries, we can also ensure the unity of France by only demanding minor concessions on the border or take nothing at all. The Vichy borders. Take border provinces. Take nothing. Um, this seems like more, I'm going to, remind me when plays Hans Lammers. Please remind me to take nothing. Every time I say Hans Lammers, I knew someone in whose last name was Lammers. He was blonde. He did have blue hair. Or not blue hair. Blue eyes and blonde. Hmm. hmm. I think we're just going to go ahead and and remind me we're going to do the Heinrich Himmler route. Please remind me we're going to take the Vichy borders. So let's just do this one. Take the border provinces. This? God. This is looking more like TNO already. This would just be big old Burgundy here. And I love it. Legal corruptions. We need more stability for the empire. Basically, we're the empire. The border question. Oh, wait. We just... What? We just did this one. Oh, the French state is here. Edgar Poad. Nice. Very nice. Take nothing. Oh, where's our capital right now? Oh, it's still Paris. Honestly? Uh, becomes owner of Champagne and Picardy. We already took Champagne and Picardy, so... I'll take extra political power. Why not? Alright, Poland. Because we won't be hungry these guys eventually. Nice, nice. And German support. Um, Benat. General government, yes. The general government has refused. The vilest loyal dogs of the general government have refused their demands of rifle integration into the Reich. Why would they do such a thing to the Heimat as such a crime deserving of death? The preparations are being made for military intervention, and resistance is expected to be low as resistance movements have largely been eradicated. The German colonists are expected to welcome us with open arms, with our troops ready to march in. Those fools. Um, can we do them too? Oh, who's up next? Republic of Ukraine, Slovenia, so, uh... I do want to use these guys as well, and honestly, so, remind me, maybe, <sighs> is not leading country, total mobilization, hmm, remind me when we play as Heinrich Kimmler to go down this route, because I think we'll take up this route for now. Aliens must produce, yes. So, if that's the case, we're not going to do anything with our economy law anymore, I shouldn't have switched this one around without reading things, but first, so, my bad. Heinrich Himmler, do you deserve a place back in government? Yeah, you probably honestly do. Aviation, that's not bad. Naval stuff. Uh, Sepp Dietrich is not bad. I like it. More attack, or you get more, less supply consumption and more division organization, which is really good. Hauser, more speed, armor attack and defense. Oh, but more attack and just defense in general. Felix Steiner. Steiner, Steiner, Steiner. Artillery attack is not bad. Fuel gain, we might need that, but I'm not really too worried about that, honestly. Civilian construction speed plus 15% is really good. Oh, I like that 15%. How much are we building right now? Almost nothing. We need is every single little bit that we can grab. So, Heinrich Himmler. I think we're going to choose him. Welcome back, Heinrich. Welcome back. Man, he's an efficient guy. Yeah, don't, don't let him leave your country. Oh my god. Oh, don't tell me. Please don't tell me there's so much resistance here. Please, 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 please. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. We gotta move fast. Oh god, this is gonna be so bad. As soon as we enter, we're gonna hit resistance probably. Are oh, they gone? Get out of here. Get the hell out of here, man. Oh boy. Get out. Alright, the question of Poland. Right? No? Alright, so who's next? Uh, Estonia. No, let's do Latvia. Or Belarusia, but let's do. Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania. That'd be good. Get out of there, boys. Assault concentration is nice. Let's grab some independent formations as well. Also, since we're done with this stuff, I don't want to see any of this stuff. I'm not going to use paratroops. I almost never use them anyway, so. Marines, we're going to keep that for now. Keep those guys. Keep the mountaineers. Motorized. Don't even bother me with that stuff for now. 69 is nice. Latvia. Gotta wait so long for this stuff. Alright, so. Well, boys, I hope you're ready to visit Lithuania. 
Should be a nice time of places here. I don't know what time is going on, but whatever. We have research we can do. We have six research slots. And honestly, there's not a whole lot we can really research, so we're going to just go ahead and do this one. It's fine. Whatever. Don't care. <sighs> 2.55 every single day after this one. Nice. Uh, expanding the SSWVHA. We'll do that one first, and then we'll go to introduce the SS Conf Krupa. That'll be fine. Nice. Latvia, Estonia. Good. My friends, go on in. There will be nobody to stop us. Absolutely nobody. So currently we get 1.29, which is pretty nice, actually. Aerosols, great. Can we reform, like, a Rex Commissariat? I'd love to be able to do that. That sounds so cool. New generation of missiles. And, ooh... The nuclear reactors, we'll do that one first. The new Ordnung. Looking good, right? Already? Oh, yeah, we're down here, too. I forgot about that. Have to transport one. Uh, get some aerial refueling, just because you can. Why not? Alright, Latvia. You've had it too good for too long. And Belarusian Socialist State. And introduce the SS Kampf Grupa. Anyone have upgrades? No? Our guys are really good for attack, though. <sighs> Beautiful, my friends. Can anyone stop Hadrush? No. Actually, did we do a Sony already? Yeah, we can do them. Great. Three. Two. We're not going to count down all the way to one. And there we go. 9,000. Yeah, actually, infantry equipment, 45,000 is more than good enough now. So, we're going to do this and do that. And then that's going to help us out. APCs go up by five more and go down by... Go down to two, actually. Um, we need to go to no trading because we need as many resources as possible right now. So, good. You're going that way. I like it. <coughs> Great. And we got even some more rifles, too. So now resistance should be l low enough that we should be able to come over here and do have very few problems, right? Right. Gotta hope I'm right. Ah, we're not even close to them. Good. Call all of our allies in. And we're doing okay. Not super worried about it. Oh, sure, guys, yeah. Wartime fighters? And unmatched on them. There isn't a military anywhere in Europe that can withstand the combined might of the SS. We'll grind them to us beneath the heels of our jackboots. Absolutely. And the Ukraine will die. Uh, we, oh, our divisions are still here, actually. You know what? Screw it. You guys come over here. Form your own contingency plan for now. Scores any? I'm probably saying that wrong. Let's do that. Hang out. You're literally just going to be here to defend until we can move you guys back. And I do want to get some bonus to the land auction, so that's why we're going out that way right now. But following that, ideological enemy with a traditional economy. Very good. More political power, war support, and stuff like that. Uh, we should be okay with everything else, so. It's just fun to conquer enemies, especially when they don't know what they're doing. Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. Good, good, good. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to take out just because they're much larger, but we got to take them out faster. Oh. Oh, I, I was like, where do the other two divisions go? They're actually still down south, so. Um, but we got to take them out before these guys get absorbed by the USSR, who is doing very well against the Russian Republic. Another comment was, someone says we can't get Himmler back if the Civil War happens. It's unfortunate, but I guess you're right, probably. Someone says I should play someone from the Balkans. Actually, I have. I've played as Hungary before. i played as... Not Yugoslavia, but Serbia as well. I think I played someone else. I forget. Maybe Croatia? I think I did. So, I've played as them a few times. I obviously haven't done every route, but I would like to play as them again sometime. But let's see what happens. Oh, I see. So many more anti-tank. Keep going in, guys. I know not all of you are very strong, but... Oh, well. More air doctrine? Might as well, right? Nice. 
Uh, Slovenia? Yeah, I guess we should do Slovenia. Can you guys actually push out yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Good job, Otto. Unmatched on land. Uh, go with one for now, and then go one as well for your two. And a traditional economy. Uh, yeah, that's what we want to do. Because currently we're at what? 10% service by requirement. We're going to really cut down on our, the amount of manpower we're going to have, but that's still fine. Carrier operations are fine. Grab some of that too. Did we ever make that ship yet? Yes, we did. That's good. 1950 carrier hull. It's not great, but... Whatever. Some deck armor. I kind of doubt we'll even use this, but... Get some more hangar spaces. That'd be good. And it's got basic radar. There we go. Go with two for now. And then we're going to upgrade... Um, some of these guys, if we possibly can. Even if they're not very good, I'd still rather have them and use them than not. Alright, so that's not terrible. You can start making some of them. Yeah, no, that, that just sucks. But we're still going to need some more, so. Overall, not too bad. Uh, do we have any casts? We really don't have that much casts. That sucks. Some more military factories, which I want to build up more civvies, but whatever. There we go. Ukraine's almost dead. More research. I just do that one anyways, I don't really care. Ah, oh, we linked up with them. Oh, Ukraine's gone. Beautiful. Absolutely. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, they're up there. Um, who's who's over here? Russia relocated to Sakhalin. Don Cossacks League. Good. Wait, what happened here? Go back. Wait, what? What the hell happened here? There you go. There you go. That's better. What is this? Hmm. Very good. Uh, is this core? Holy crap, that's really overpowered. That's really just our core territories, man. But, who am I to complain? Uh, motorized rocket. Eh, grab one once we're done building everything else if we do have time for that. Anything else here we really care about? Strat bombers, tack bombers, transports? No. A traditional economy? Followed up with. A war economy? Restore Ukraine? We will restore Ukraine. Honestly, I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that either. Maybe, maybe at the end we'll restore that stuff. Alright. Um, honestly, just do all this stuff. If we can. Even though I would like to get some more stability immediately. Artillery attack would not be bad. But we don't really have that right now. Get construction speed. And then do the... Where are these guys? Come on, Kia. It's fine. There you go. Good. Alright, boys and girls. Let's go on in. There goes Albania. Goodbye, Albania. And we're going on in. Slovenia's next. Where's the capital? Volgograd. Ah. Ah, thanks for the fuel, guys. When you guys are race on back to come over here. Should be able to do it by yourselves. I want you all. Hold on, are you suffering from attrition? Oh my god. I'll oh, get out of there first. Holy crap, is it bad around here? That is god awful. Demanding your rifle territory? German demands? Oh, let's wait to do that one. Moscow Red Army. Yeah, we'll get to that group. Give some more time. Hmm. You can send equipment to them. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's go, let's go Red Army. 
You guys are taking forever to get over there. War economy followed up with an ideological economy. Might as well, right? Yeah, let's go with closed economy. We gotta save as much of this as possible. Uh, let's find that for now. I started building up some of this so we don't have to trade it and we can make our own stuff too. That'd be good. That'd be very, very good. We should be there very soon too. German support. Finding Hungarian radicals. That'd be nice, but still. Okay, it's slowly going down. It's going to create an intelligence agency too. If you think you can come up with a good intelligence agency name, please let me know in the comments below. Um, because I would like to have a good agency name for our guys. Obviously, if we're playing as the SS, we need something really cool. But... Just let me know in the comments below what you think we should use. Okay, they're taking forever over there. How are you guys looking? Would you guys be able to beat these guys up? By yourselves? Oh, sure, guys. You want to come in? That's fine. Yeah, we should be able to do it, right? I really want you guys to win, so... Here, make some makeshift bridges. So you might be fighting over the rivers or stuff. I don't really care. Just do it the best you can. Adolfsburg! Yay! Adolfsburg! Uh, sure for now. Honestly, hmm, well. There's not really too many more enemies we, we do have. Ideological enemies, nice. Uh, national social industry. I want to get through the focus tree, so I, yeah, we'll probably have at least one more episode after this just to see what happens. I mean, obviously, we, we need to go to war with the USSR. We need to. So probably that'll be the last thing we do in the campaign, because I do want to finish out the focus tree as well before we fully finish the campaign, so we'll see. Um, mm, get more base. We like the base here. We like a lot of base. And if you force the attack, you cannot lose, right? <laughs> nuclear reactors are nice. Grab some of this. Research speed goes down, but nuclear production does go up. Good. Sure, guys, sure. Here, force it. Marabor. Nice. Oh, we actually see this stuff. Oh, we killed off a quarter million of them. Not bad. Harko Hafner. Very nice. Very nice. Logical bombing. Logistics bombing. We love it. Come on up, boys, and finish them all off. I don't know why we're going on this side. Strategic bombing. I'll go this one. Why not? We're not really using that doctrine anyways, but whatever. Uh, support them. There you go. What's the next focus we're doing? National Socialist Economy. Factory Poland. Acquire workers. Let's do Factory Poland. Ah, yes. That's something we love to see. Professional standards. Uh, yes, factory Poland and well trained armed forces. We can't wage an effective war against the forces of Zionism if we don't hold ourselves to a higher standard, as well as this one. We, uh, the war against Judeo Bolshevism is said to be long and arduous. We need all the bodies we can get for the human wave charges across no man's land. We won't turn away anyone who wants to lend their country a, a hand. Absolutely. Holy crap, we need more resources. We need way more rubber. Way, 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 way more rubber. That sucks. But it will be done eventually. Ah, Moscow Red Army has capitulated. Oh. Well, we won't give stuff to everybody, so. Thank you. Ah, since we're here, we want to take out these guys too, why not? I kind of doubt the next episode will be super long, but that's okay. You don't always need a super long video, right? We don't always have to do it like that. Alright, what's next? Invade Norway. Cancel Lend Lease. The many rifle territories. We will need to do that as well. The reason why I wanted the intelligence agency to help lower our resistance here as much as possible for now. Uh, there you go, that's better. And we should be pretty much good to go. Alright, losses. A few th thousand versus nothing. Good. Airland strikes. We love it. Very good. Goodbye. Oh, we got some guns. That's all they have. Can we actually go to war with these guys? Because I know I signed an aggression pact. No, I can't do it. That kind of sucks. 
So I wish there was, hopefully there's more interaction between us and them, but the capital ship raiders are fine, which we probably won't use very much. But, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to save the rest of this. The Georgian surrender. Apparently the state of Georgia is in a nation of ignorance. The foolish are refusing our ultimatum of returning unlawful lands. With our efforts of peaceful diplomacy fail, we have no choice but to retake what is rightfully ours by force. Great! And Aryans must produce. And I will do probably two more of these focuses off screen tomorrow, these two. And uh, the Shadow Cap, we can probably do that one too. They will come in the night, and they will come in the thousands. We will do our work under the veil of darkness. The morning sun will illuminate our progress for all the world to see. But if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and also leave a like for Daddy Hadrish. But I'll see you tomorrow when we will end this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.